Joined now by all pro wide receiver Cooper Cup. Appreciate the time. It's a long practice out there in pads, man. Does this feel like a, another step in the direction of this season getting rolling? Yeah, I mean, this is just part of it. This is the, uh, you know, A-Rob called it the meat and potatoes of camp. You know, you're kind of getting a, a big portion of your playbook is in, getting some good competitive reps. So um, you got you got to cherish this time. If you love football, you love being able to go do something like this, be on the field for a while and compete against some really good football players. I know you guys wiped the slate clean uh, of last year as you, you faced the 2022 season, but what valuable aspects of last year's experience are worthwhile to bring into this year? Yeah, well, I think there's so much stuff that we learn. I mean, there's so, the, from through the ebbs and flows of what last year was, you go through a winless November, um, learn how to weather some adversity and um, trusting in the process and the things that you've laid out. Um, but in no way do you want to just go back and revert back and say, well, that's good enough you know it's about then being critical of that and saying well what can we do better now in the off season what kind of things can we improve on how can we be more efficient in and out uh week in week out and um you know, i think that's the approach we want to take and um i think we're setting that foundation right now does it harden you mentally in a lot of ways to be able to as you point out go through a winless month but then still realize that as long as you make it to that tournament at the end then it's a whole new season yeah, but I mean that's the that's the great cliche about football, isn't it? It's like it's it's a, such a lesson about what life is like. You know, there's ebbs and flows. There's there's highs and lows that you're going to deal with, and it's just about you know keeping your head head down. You know, focus on the task at hand. Um, you know, not getting not allowing yourself to get too high or too low, and uh, you know, trusting in the process in that regard is huge. Because I, I mean, even just in uh, the course of a game, there's going to be good plays, there's going to be bad plays, but you got to be able to move on to the next one and do your job. So, uh, without a doubt, that's part of it. Look who's coming here! Hey, Junie, how you doing, buddy? The you biggest fan, biggest fan around. <laughs> Look at this crew. Hey, Good Zibie. looking crew. <laughs> um, obviously, that, that's who you're playing for. Uh, <laughs> but when you look back, as we did on your season a year ago, we celebrated it for the statistics and for the highlights. When you looked at what you did, what did you focus in on? Um, in terms of what I can do better. Whether it was what you can do better or what you felt like you did well that you want to keep keep yeah, doing. Yeah, well, I mean, there's a lot. Of, there's certainly there's so much, so many things I want to do a better job of. Um, that's the great thing. Hey, buddy, come here. He can join us if you want. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's so many things that you know I can do a better job of. Um, the details of this game. I mean, Jerry Rice plays this game um, to the highest level. He's probably the standard for the position, and even he would tell you he never arrived. He was never, you know, comfortable or um, thinking that he had done everything he could to be the best. He never, perfect, he never played a perfect game, never played a perfect season. Um, and you know, I think that's the goal is you just continue to you know, find ways to get better. What did you focus on? I'm sure you sharpened everything, yeah, I mean, but were there, so, were there so, unique so things, things you could you could get after? I don't want to, someone else's job is to figure out my weaknesses. <laughs> I can't, I'm not going to I'm not going to give someone the, the understandable, tidbits. understandable. Uh, when you look at, at the crew you have around you uh, this year, it's a it's a different team, and specifically Allen Robinson comes in. What do you hope that he brings, and what have you seen early on in camp? Yeah, he's just been incredible. What he's been able to do in such a short amount of time, learning this offense, being able to do so much more than just the things he's been asked in the past, being able to do this stuff underneath, being able to run um, every route in our playbook. Um, he's been incredible. His mentality, just the way he fits into our room, it's been uh, it's been a great addition, and um, you know, really excited about being able to get out and playing real ball with him. What have you told him about the experience of, of playing in a Sean McVay offense? Uh, I, I don't really have to – tell him much. I mean, he asked a lot of questions about, you know, what things are like and how he can do things better. And um, I think the thing he loves is how detail oriented we are. I mean, there's, uh, it's, uh, it calls you to a high standard to be on your stuff, to be able to see things and react quickly. And I think that just feeds right into the mentality and the way that Allen um, plays the game. You know, he's a cere very cerebral football player. And um, I think he, you know, he thrives under those kind of conditions. Not that you needed motivation. I mean, you've proven year in and year out to, to kind of come into this thing dialed in. But when you have as much success as a team and personally, does it just even add to that fire as you get ready for a new year? Yeah, I, mean, I think there's a, uh, you know, I think some of the tr people talk about how difficult things are. When things are hard, being able to stay the course and find ways to, um, you know, overcome adversity. I think another thing is when you're successful, I'm not just talking about as a team, um, when the light's on you, when everyone's telling you how great you are, how how much can you dial in and say, well, no, let's be critical of ourselves and find ways to, you know, be better. I think that's that's the toughest um, test of character is when everyone's telling you how good you are, and you've got to find the way to sift through that and find ways to um, improve yourself and not not believe people that you know want to say that uh, you've arrived. Last thing, we've been doing this at every stop. Um, is there a player or, or is there a trait from a player that plays your position in the league right now that you look at and go, man, that, it'd be nice to have that. 
<laughs> yeah, it'd be nice to be fast. So every fast receiver, it'd be nice to have a uh, have that. You know, I've I've said it before. You know, um, speed is a luxury, but quickness is a necessity. So you know, I feel like uh, having a, having the luxury of being fast would be pretty sweet. Is there a guy that you look at on tape when you when I you're mean, seeing yeah, opponent yeah, tape? I mean, look, look at what's, there's so many guys in this league that have have gas. You know, I think um, seeing some of the stuff that Jamar Chase put on film last year um, was pretty incredible. Um, Could be some of that Tyreek so burner too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know who's really fast was Van Jefferson. Van Jefferson's really fast. Too. Yeah. So you know, there's a lot of guys that can that can roll. Um, I love it. Keeping but, it in house. Hey man, yeah. I appreciate it. Go see that yeah. family. Thank you very much. <laughs> you got it. All right, here you go. Now, if you look at it, and again, look, everybody scores differently when it comes to you know if you want to look at fantasy points, but if you look at receptions. There's only, a, there's just how many catches? Second ever, yards, second ever. 90 plus yard games, first ever. I mean, this was a historically great season for Cooper Cup that ended up even better after you look at what happened in the Super Bowl. It's team one, he was the best player in the game. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.